In Honkai Star Rail, each of the characters derive their powers and abilities from a particular path. The healers tend to be from abundance, the tanks from preservation, and the supports are from the path of harmony. But sometimes, the path that their kit is designed around don't necessarily match the path they seem to follow, at least within the law. Jinyuan is mechanically an erudition character, but lore-wise, he is allied with the Eon of the Hunt. Sampo is from the Nihility path, but is speculated to be affiliated with the Eon of Elation. Why do these characters seem to follow one path mechanically, only to have a different path within their lore? That's what we'll be discussing in this video, and hopefully try to find an answer for it. Before we dive into that, if you want to see more Honkai Star Rail content, do consider subscribing to the channel. Whenever we talk about specific characters, the path they follow often comes up as a point of contention. Claiming Jinyuan is an emanator of Lan can be a bit confusing since he is functionally an erudition type character. On the other hand, you have characters who fit both roles nicely such as Herta, who is known to be an emanator of Nus and is also an erudition type character. This brings up the question of whether or not the gameplay paths each character is assigned to is really canon, at least within the law. I have a few ideas about this and the simplest is that they're just not related. Jingyuan is an erudition character not because he follows news, but because his kit is AoE based. I'm guessing that the paths that each character's kit is designed around is mostly there for convenience and has largely nothing to do with the path shown in their individual lore stories. They likely act as classes that allow the developers to maintain some cohesion in terms of designing characters, so whenever they plan a future abundance character for example, the central theme would always be some form of healing. But that answer is kind of boring, so let's explore this a little bit more. An alternative possibility is that any individual can follow multiple paths at any given time. This also means that they could change from one path to another if they so wish. Sentient creatures are complex beings. Very few people actually adhere to only one type of action, belief or emotion. So it would stand to reason that any single person may act destructively one moment when overcome by anger and in the next moment showing a different emotion or belief altogether. Jingyuan may be an emanator for Lan, though this isn't explicitly mentioned yet, but he would still think strategically as part of his role of general which is a trait of those following erudition. It wouldn't be too far-fetched within the context of the law either, as the main character has been shown to wield both the destruction and preservation paths. Now, it's unclear whether the main character is considered an emanator, but they are clearly shown to gain access to different paths and very likely to gain more in the future. Aside from that, the paths are said to be a collection of imaginary energy where the philosophical and conceptual ideas developed by every sentient being congregates. It would be unlikely that the universe is divided so neatly by these specific paths and more likely that each individual can display different traits at different times. Under this idea, an individual may resonate the strongest with one particular path at any given time depending on their emotional state and chosen actions. This would also explain why most common people do not gain access to the powers of a path like those referred to as the path striders as in order to access such powers, one would need to exemplify a particular path so much that they can draw power from it. Functionally, this means that someone who wants to gain access to the path of destruction for example must embody it to such a degree that it is all they think about and do and rarely are people so one-dimensional. The second idea is that each person may resonate strongly with only a singular path despite who they ally with. It's possible that every individual can act in many different ways but only the strongest actions and emotions are what gives them their powers. Herta for example may at times display anger that is associated with destruction or laziness that is associated with nihility but who she is as a person is still a scientist. Logical thinking and the curiosity of an academic is who she is and what her identity is built around and thus why she is both an erudition character and an erudition emanator. This idea though would largely mean that someone like Jing Yuan does derive his powers from the path of erudition as well, but perhaps the eons can grant blessings regardless of your inherent path, which is the next idea. The third idea is that perhaps the path you inherently follow doesn't necessarily have to be the same path of the god you venerate. 
Someone may not agree with revenge and a boar's killing, but still venerate the Eon of the Hunt. Think of those in the Xianzo Alliance. Sure, you have people such as the Cloud Knights whose job it is to wage war on Yaoshi's abominations, but there are also artisans, healers, and common folk on those ships. They might still follow and venerate the Aeon of the Hunt, but in practice could be on a different path altogether. Now you might say that, well, if that's the case, how could Jin Yuan receive the blessing of Lan when he is considered to be erudition? Well, in one of Herta's descriptions of Ahab, the Aeon of Elation, she mentioned that just for fun, Aha had granted a random worm a large portion of its power. Since it's unlikely that this worm followed the path of elation to begin with, it's an indication that the eons have the freedom to make anyone they choose an emanator. So it is possible that while Jing Yuan is an erudition type person in law, because of his affiliation and alliance with Lan, he may have received its blessing and some of its power. To add to that, most of those in Xianzo Alliance are still blessed with long lives, a leftover effect from the time they followed the Eon of Abundance, Yaoshi. Despite now following Lan, most of them still benefit from this long life. Of these possibilities, I personally do not think that the design of their kit has anything to do with the path they follow in law, as that would perhaps make it a bit difficult to design characters, always having to make sure that they make sense in the story as well as in design. Now maybe in the future more gets revealed about how the paths actually work that we get a more concrete answer, but for now, I personally would opt for the simplest approach rather than a complicated one. It's more likely that the paths can be thought of as separate when it comes to how a character kit functions versus how they behave in the story. Let me know what you think is the actual case in the comments. I'll end the video here and if you enjoyed it, do consider liking and subscribing to the channel and I'll see you next time. As usual, have a nice day.